It's 9.35 in the morning. And I'm, I'm, I've done the same bullshit again in terms of time. So, i got to get ready real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to be late. So, time to get ready. Hey, I'm super late. I'm way later than I was yesterday. So, I'm not even going to vlog in the car. Because I need to, like, focus on driving and actually trying to pass someone if I need to. That is the wrong light. So, I will be back shortly. Okay, so I just got done streaming. I played uh, the beginning of World at War and I got so sick and tired of just playing that that I wanted because I've been itching all day just to play Battlefield Bad Company 2 so we streamed that for like four hours. It was fun but right now I'm just watching Tay play some Dead Space. Uh, make sure you give her a follow on Twitch and whatnot. She can be insane or she can be really fucking loud. But yeah, right now I'm going to make myself some Huel because I'm fucking starving. And then I'm going to tidy up this. Remember a couple of days ago when I said that I was going to tidy my house? I didn't. I didn't tidy my house. I didn't do anything. I was lazy. There's fucking clothes on the floor and shit. My fucking bedroom is a mess. Downstairs there's some fucking... Dude, it's messy. Tomorrow is cleaning day. 100% cleaning day and we're going to go on a journey. Um, but before that, I want to tidy this up. I got a little bit of, I got to shave this. I'm growing this. Someone said, what the fuck is wrong with your beard? Okay, look, I have a shitty beard. I'm 27 and I can barely grow facial hair. For some reason, the major consistency of my beard just sticks around this area. Actually, it goes up further, but it looks stupid if I put it up there because it doesn't come down. This comes down to there, except this gap. I don't know why. I don't fucking know. I'm, I can't grow facial hair properly, okay? I can grow this, I can grow this, I can grow here a bit, and there and there, but that's it. It doesn't grow there, it doesn't grow here, it doesn't grow there, it definitely doesn't grow there. A lot of people I know. I basically, if you want to Google Keanu Reeves beard, that's the facial hair I'm probably going to have for the rest of my life. It's terrible. His is awful. And mine's awful. Um, so, you know, I... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Well, it's probably some, like, 13-year-old little kid fucking saying, like, yeah, what's up with your beard, man? What are you using? So, I don't give a shit because I don't care anymore. I just like this, this, because this is all I can do. I like it. I like to grab it every now and then and to mess around with it. So, I'm happy. I don't really care. But, yeah, anyway, back onto more important stuff. I'm going to make some Huel. I'm going to show you this time what I'm doing because the past, um... Two vlogs we haven't I haven't shown you. The other day I didn't show you. Yesterday I didn't have any fuel. Today we have fuel. I'm gonna put some banana in it. I'm gonna put some strawberries in it. I wanna see what the fuck is gonna happen with that. They're both frozen. I don't know how it's gonna taste because the bananas have been frozen for several months. I don't know how the like their longevity is. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's really no good place for me to film in here, or at least to put the phone in a position where I can use my hands freely. So I've made some contraption where uh, my Keurig coffee maker has the sugar container on top of it, which the phone balances. And you see this here? This is the top of my cupboard, which opens. And yeah, so, right. I have a bag of frozen strawberries. I've cleaned these and actually they look like brand new still. It's so weird. They smell great. Um, that was done last year uh, about when I moved in. Soon after. I'd say around about maybe September time. And here, now this is what I'm unsure about the bananas. Because they don't look too good. Um, and I know for a fact that bananas in smoothies, when they're frozen, from frozen rather, they, in fact, I could, dude, I can smell, these are not okay. They just, look, that, that is a dead, two dead bananas right there. That smells like old feet. And I have no intention of getting sick, so I'm not putting these in there. So I guess it's just going to be strawberry and vanilla. These, I'm fairly certain, are totally fine to put in. Um, they look beautiful and red. There's nothing. 
wrong with them. They smell delicious. So we will uh, put in the water. 600 milliliters of water this time. We're putting in three scoops. And um, then all of those. This should be enough for a... Well, basically like a meal and a dessert, essentially. So uh, I've got my actual blender, which we're going to be using, which is clean, but the base doesn't look it. It's 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 the plastic underneath. It's nothing to do with, like, the, the glass. So throw this in water. And then we'll put our three scoops in. One, two, dude, this just could be fucking powdered sugar for you know. And three. All right, that was the cure. We will be getting the sweetness soon, so don't worry about that. And we're gonna put all of this in. I don't know what this is gonna taste like, dude. Um. I will add sugar to it because I know for a fact you're the sugar. Uh, I know for a fact that regardless of what goes in there, whether it be natural sugar or whatever, it still needs a little bit of zest, and I don't mind. So, because I barely have any sugar in my diet at the moment, anyway. Okay, so here is our delicious look, looking bowl of snot. Um, so we're gonna blend this. Alrighty, we'll be right back and I'll show you the finished finish product. Okay, I just made pink salmon paste. Uh, Huel with strawberries has been completed. I will smell it. Whoa, that smells fucking good. Alright, let's pour some in here. Honestly, that looks just like a fucking strawberry smoothie right there. I'm not gonna get all that in. It's fine, I can leave some of that for later. So here it is. Now it's pink. It's looking like Tara Masala. Tara Malasata. It's that salmon like hummus paste. Uh, it honestly looks like a strawberry milkshake. I'm just kidding. Um, it smells really good. Uh, so I'm gonna taste this. It was like. That has totally masked the sweetener flavor. Like, I can still taste it, but barely taste it. And it tastes more like a strawberry milk smoothie. Even though I've used water, frozen strawberries, about, I'd say about, um, two cereal spoons worth of sugar, which if you think about it, how much sugar I've had today, I had uh, black coffee this morning, uh, I had two pieces of toast, I've had uh, chicken and rice, how much sugar I've fucking had today? This is, to this is like dramatically changed it. I gotta buy a shit ton of strawberries and freeze them. And this is how we're making Huel from now on. Like, I'm not even kidding. Okay, we're gonna talk about it. The other day, when I've been drinking Huel, I've been sipping it just to get over the fact that there's that awkward back taste. But now it's like dramatically changed. It's manageable. I'm okay, I'm tasting a little bit there. I think maybe because I'm getting to the bottom of it, I'm not sure. Mmm. It's good though. It's actually really good. If you want to try Huel, and you've also tried the same flavor I have, and you're not too happy with the flavor that came with it, and you can you know the about the taste I'm talking about, that weird 
um, sweetener aftertaste. Mm. Fucking just do what I just did. I used, I, I guess there was about maybe eight, six strawberries in there. Dude, I've never drunk Huel this quick. I'm not, I'm just trying to make, like, I'm fucking hungry, right? So I'm down in this because I'm hungry, but, uh, I'm not trying to prove a point that I can. I'm trying to prove a point that it's delicious right now. The only negative is there's a slight hint at the end of each, uh, each time I remove the, the drinks thing from my mouth. There's a slight hint of that sweetener, and it's not even bad at all. <laughs> How much is left in there? I could totally drink all that. I just made a lot more. <laughs> now we're back to that much. Alright, so I won't drink the rest to bore you, but you am pretty sure, pretty damn sure I'm gonna drink the rest anyway. Alright, so recommendation. Three scoops, remember that. Three scoops is uh, a small meal worth. The thing is, because you're drinking like 500 milliliters of water combined with three scoops of that, already, minus the um, the strawberries that I've just added today, because there's like all that filling your stomach, it's a very filling feeling. And it's, although that the, um, I'll quote it exactly for you right here, that three scoops is, amounts to 460 calories, 467, sorry, which is essentially a Tesco chicken and bacon sandwich. That's two slices of bread cut into uh, two triangles with chicken and bacon and maybe mayonnaise, some, some, um, some uh, butter. That doesn't fill me, okay? But that does because there's so much water and I'm guessing the oats or the powder, you know, it expands perhaps. I'm not sure. I don't fucking know. I'm not a scientist, but all I can tell you is that after I've drunk that um, and have done in the past, I feel full. I feel like I'm good. Later on, I will get hungry. That's why, but it definitely fills that spot, so. All right, I'm going to end the vlog there. I'm going to go eat this. <laughs> eat. I'm going to go drink this. I'm going to tidy up a few things so tomorrow I can clean a bit better. We're going to go on a journey. I don't know where we're going yet, but we're going to go out and try and find something cool to film. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening and good night.